Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. Today's video, I am showing you a new practice hand that I purchased. So it's another $30. I think it's like $30. It might be like $43. I will leave a picture and I will leave the link um, for my Amazon storefront where this will be available for purchase. So just to clear some things up, Anything that I have on my Amazon storefront um, is something for the most part that I've bought, especially like the practice hands and stuff like that. Um, sometimes there I've added like a cheaper version of some items like my nail desk lamp because I, I found one that was similar that was just, you know, cheaper, but I did buy the more expensive one. Um, but yeah, I think I had somebody had asked, you know, if I put on there the exact items, but... Um, if you would like, I could just leave the specific link um, for these items if you would prefer that. But for the most part, I want to say like 98% of the time, what is in my Amazon storefront are things that I purchase or have purchased. So yeah, but overall, I like this hand. Uh, I was a little thrown off at first by the like color of the hand because in person, it kind of looks more like yellow than what it looks like here on camera. Um, but I definitely love the way that it looks on camera. So I'm pulling out my flexi tips from Glitter Planet and I'm going to just place these in the little cuticle area. So they did include those full cover tips and then those other tips. But I'm just going to go ahead and use my Not Polished Universal Tips and I'm going to use some Young Nails to glue these tips on. I kind of wanted to take it back to the basics with using tips so just so that I can like really know that I know how to like file and shape a coffin nail without having to use like a coffin type tip um but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these tips on and cut them down and I will pop back in for shaping why don't you get it by now Tell me what you learned in grade school. Give it to me like you want it. Did you forget that code? Why is I love it one sided? It should really be give and take. Fill you up and leave me empty. Baby, was that to my mistake? Covering this feeling. Going through changes. I'm just so mad right now. I can't even think straight. Tweet it and delete it Knowing you won't read it Before we get too far away I need Alright you guys, so this index finger looks extra funky And it's going to look extra funky throughout the whole video I'm not really sure I mean, I'm pretty sure that it was tip placement as to why it started out funky But I'm trying to do my best to shape it and fix it and things like that and um yeah so i'm just using my not polish hand file and i am just sort of shaping pre-shaping the sides and then i'm blending the tips into the natural nail a little bit as well i'm actually going to come back in with my sanding band and do that when i did apply these tips i'm trying to keep the tips the same um, um length or whatever not the same length, the same size for these first three. If you didn't get a chance to check out my Not Polish class video, um, I kind of go over a little bit about that and why we do that. Um, but yeah, so I'm a lot better at filing on this side of the nail versus the other side of the nail. So I went ahead and used my straight edge nail clippers and just kind of tried to clip away as straight in a coffin shape as possible as I could so that way I have minimal minimal filing to do on that side because I suck over there but yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and shape these nails and get started with this New Year's nail design so I kind of I don't know if any of you know but I'm a Gemini K okay? we have like you know the twins stuff like that so I feel like these are like my Gemini nails um, it's like Two of them are one side, two of two of the nails are the are another side. And it's funny because I had seen something pop up on my Facebook 
today actually like before I had sat down to record these nails and um, it was like a crossword puzzle and it was one of those things where it says like the first four words that you see is what will bring what 2022 will bring to you or whatever so um, it really didn't hit me until like the very end but I'm like oh my gosh I could definitely name a finger for each of those words so I'm gonna play put these words up here on the screen and I want to see if any of you can guess which word goes with the nail and I'm gonna leave a screenshot of my Facebook post as well so that you guys can see it um, and that way you guys know um, I will be as 100% honest I'm not sure if they're gonna we're gonna do a giveaway or not but let's just see if anybody can guess but yeah just a little trivia type thing see if you know your content creator here um, but yeah so I basically just wanted to do a coffin shape for these nails I'm gonna go ahead and blend these tips and I'll be right back Alright, so now that I am done blending the tips into the natural nail, I am just dusting away some of the dust and spraying some swipe. The duster didn't really do anything to remove the dust, so I am taking some lint-free wipes and swipe and just trying to get as much dust off as possible. And now I'm going to go in with Kiara Sky's Perfect Nude. And you guys, OMG, it really is the perfect nude. I like am so in love with this. I feel like I need to just go ahead and find me the big container because I feel like I'm about to start using this color all the time. Um, I hope you guys don't get bored of it because I probably will record as well. But yeah, so I love this color. I wanted to kind of do like nude and black for New Year's and I wanted some gold. And then like my favorite color is like any shade of purple basically but I like maroon as well so I feel like the color that I chose for my nude nails definitely went well and it's like I just love the color um, you know how the colors went together so here I'm gonna do a v-cut French tip I did have plans to do a different type of French type it was gonna be more of like a color blocking and then once I got the gold on there, I just kind of changed my mind last minute. Um, but yeah, so I uh, will explain that more when we get there. Now I'm just kind of trying to clean up this area. I did notice that the right side of my V-cut did not really match the left side. So I go back in there with my X-Acto knife and make that match. And then clean up uh, around, you know... That acrylic that I have cut and then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the middle finger so actually no I'm not I'm going to go ahead and fill around the cuticle area and then we're going to move on to the middle finger but I did want to explain a little bit about the middle finger um my thought process was not for it to be an ombre I mean I guess it was kind of going to be an ombre but it was just like a three part ombre so we do the nude I'm going to do the gold glitter and then I'm going to use my maroon um, color from not polish 
and yeah so they were just gonna kind of ombre the gold was just gonna ombre at each other together i guess but yeah so it kind of i got some of the maroon color um a little too far up but either way i'm still super in love with these nails and just mad that they're not on my hands because i definitely wanted to put new year's nails on my hands but i'm waiting on my press it kit from not polish they went ahead and sent me some, an email because I'm subscribed, you know, and they had 30% off. And y'all know I love my sales, so I went on there and bought me a press it kit. So I'm going to do some type of extra long um, set with my left hand whenever I get that kit. So don't judge my little shorties over there. And then I don't know what I was doing <laughs> on my right hand, you guys. I was trying to do some type of a new year set and then I started putting the stones on there and it's my dominant hand so I was using my non-dominant hand yeah it was it wasn't that great so I just kind of took a break and then yeah so here's where I'm going to place this Russian doll on the tip and I should have given it just a little bit more time I think to set so that way it would just be a nice even little layer of that acrylic right there but I am impatient so I started you know just by habit you know blending that color upward i definitely could have placed the maroon color down first as well but like i said my original thought process was not for it to be like this type of ombre so i'm just going to deepen up this color and then i'm going to go in with 24k and that is from the not polish omg collection if you guys have not tried their those products make sure you go do that they're doing sales i know for new year's and normally every holiday so i know black friday is like the biggest sale and i don't want to say this 30 percent sale that i caught for uh, my press it kit i also got some um of their candy coated collection as well which i'm going to be using one of their colors on the ring finger so yeah i'm going to go ahead and let my middle finger dry and set before I go in to encapsulate and then I'm going to go ahead and add this gold here so originally I was going to do the maroon color there color block it and then the tip was going to be the gold but I got a little carried away and this is where the nail will definitely start looking even more funky so yeah but I think looking back I would have definitely used the maroon first and kind of let that set a little bit and then I would have went back over it and filled in with this 24k glitter acrylic from not polish um, I think it would just save on time and I wouldn't have to be like so precise about where I'm placing everything so yeah but I'm gonna go ahead and do that I am gonna go ahead and show you guys um, encapsulation and then I will pop back in for the remaining two nails
All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and go in with Black Licorice, and it is from Not Polish's Candy Coated Collection. I wanted to just kind of test this um, acrylic out, and I feel like I felt like it was a good background because I also wanted to get on this um, drawing of the clock, you know, train that I've kind of just been seeing that it's like super trendy, and um, you guys should know that I... I'm really trying to challenge myself when it comes to nail art. I just think it'll make me that much better of a nail artist and I can still create, you know, really nice nails, but they're not like permanent nails because that's one of the things that I've just kind of learned and run into as far as it being an issue. Um, just because encapsulated nails just take longer, they take longer to remove and things like that and yeah I'm just trying to find like a happy middle to you know being able to do you know the stuff that I like to do but not take six hours to do nails you know so I can definitely see the progress though I definitely feel the progress and I feel the confidence so I did want to mention the brush that I'm using now is the not polish um, that extra long brush that I had bought back on Black Friday and OMG you guys it's definitely the brush for me so I'm gonna blame all the other brushes that didn't work out no I'm just kidding um but it's definitely worked out and I just I I love to be able to use it and stuff like that so now I'm just taking some black acrylic I actually bought like a little 12 12 count type acrylic set from Amazon um, from Savvy Land and it was like a New Year's type um, you know acrylic collection or whatever but I'm using their black I'm also gonna use their black on the pinky finger and you guys this black is so pigmented and it is like super freaking easy to work with I was like I loved it and it was like super blendable and everything I mean I do love not polish this black as well and I'm not really sure why I didn't use it here I think maybe this one was just like right on my desk um, cause that glitter that I used on the ring finger also came from that Savvy Land collection as well. So, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply my cuticle bead and then I am going to encapsulate both of the nails and we're going to get started with filing. Alright, so starting off with the filing portion, I am using my 5-in-1 Fine Grit um, bit from Kiara Sky along with their rechargeable e-file, the Unicorn Edition. And I am just trying to smooth out these nails and kind of fix any mistakes that I've made with acrylic application from the sides. Um, I definitely think this helps on my time as well. Because if I do make mistakes or if I overcorrect, you know, a mistake from, you know, the beginning of me doing the nails, you know, I'm, I'm able to use my drill versus trying to hand file. I mean, I still do have to hand file and it gets a little aggressive or at least it looks like it gets a little aggressive. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm trying to 
really work on all of this stuff, but I can definitely see my progress and I'm definitely feeling great about it. So I'm going to go ahead and use this and we're going to kind of go around the cuticle area. I do still like to go back in with my sanding band around the cuticle area just to ensure that I have, um, you know, got that cuticle area as flush as possible and sealed as possible as well. And then I'm going to, like I said, go on with my sanding band. I will be, I also use a sanding band too to kind of help me make sure that the nail is smooth out. I will also be hand filing to get the shape back. I do use my Profiles uh, Backstage Sponge Buffer to smooth out the nail, especially the two nails that I will be doing nail art on. So I will let you guys go ahead and watch this filing process and I will pop back in for the nail art.
All right, you guys, moving on to the nail art. I did cure the matte top coat for a total of two minutes just to be on the safe side. I am now going in with their um, not polished gel liners from their glitter collection. And I want to say this is Dazzle. So I could not for the life of me draw the Roman numerals um, that I have normally been seeing. So I just tried to think of a, another creative way to like make the numbers um, 12, 6, and 9 actually like stand out on the clock. And then just have, you know, the in-between little tick marks there. So I definitely, I think, liked it. So it was definitely better than my attempt at Roman numerals. Um, and I don't know about y'all, but I can't really read Roman numerals. I mean, it was never something that I was like ever like super interested in. So I might have learned it to, you know, if I needed it for the time being. And then, yeah, now I don't even know. I can, I know like one, two, three. That's about it. But yeah, so I'm just kind of drawing the little like, um, you know, hand wheel, I guess. The little wheel that the hand is on. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw my little arrow for the hand and then we're gonna go I did go ahead and cure this for a minimum of 60 seconds and then I'm gonna go back in with the dazzle and finish off the clock I'm gonna add a couple of little like sparkly dots there and then I'm gonna go in on the pinky finger and do some more nail art and I'll be back for that All right, you guys, so moving on to the pinky, I just wanted to draw some lines. I'm doing a thin line right here. The next line that I'm going to do is gonna be just a little bit thicker. And then the last line will be a thinner line as well. I thought it was a, just a nice touch. I had thought about doing like some sugar and things like that, but I just didn't wanna do too much because I find myself doing too much a lot of the time, so. Yeah, um, I did leave this nail matte. I attempted to go over it with the gloss at top coat like I do the rest of the nails, but I did not like it, so I hurried up and wiped it off. And then I went back over the gold lines with gloss it and cured that in the light for a minimum of 60 seconds. And yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see the final reveal shots. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Happy New Year's, you guys. Um, don't forget I have my giveaway going on. It's my last of the giveaway mystery boxes from Not Polish. I'm going to go ahead and let that giveaway ride for a little bit um, until I can get all of my items together for the next giveaway, which will happen sometime during the month of January. So. Yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment, and I will see you guys in my next one. Let me feel your love again, cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name, take me to a different place, just the two of us and we can stay up all night, kissing under street lights, doing what we want to.